Here's something that I wish I knew before I started using LLMs for serious projects, which is the more tools that you give the LLM, the worse it performs. I've talked before on the channel about how LLM tools work, which is they're just definitions added in via the system prompt. You provide a title, you provide a description, and you provide some JSON schema with the things that the tool needs to run. And then the rest of the system prompt information just goes below the tools. This works fine for like six to eight tools, depending on the model. But if you have dozens and dozens of tools, you're going to to fill up your system prompt really quickly with all of these tool definitions. The reason this makes it worse is that each of these tool definitions is using up space. And the more stuff you have in the context window, the more issues you're going to have with lost in the middle problems. In other words, if you have like 50, 60 tool definitions, or even as many as 12, the LLM is going to have a hard time figuring out which tool definition it wants to use for any situation. So when you're working with tools, you really want to make sure that only the ones that are needed are in the system prompt. And with MCP server, as it's really easy to flood your setup with a bunch of tools. Lots of apps like VS Code and Cursor allow you to enable and disable tools, and you'll definitely see better results if you disable the tools that aren't needed.